And I would like to introduce myself. I am sales master Maria Nunez. Um, I'm already um, uh, three years in in Atomy. Okay, so so um, what I have said that lo losing weight means cutting the link to aging, and mostly all ages desires dieting. So all ages, uh, all, all of uh, humankind are desires uh, dieting or, or losing weight. And obese must lose weight or else they are prone to disease. And how can we lose weight? So there, there are two important things to lose weight. It's just to eat, to just eat le less food and to exercise. And uh, we say that if this is so easy, but uh, eat less food, but we have to take uh, take care of, um, take note of what we are eating. And also exercise. And what is the importance of dieting versus exercise? This is according to pharmacist Kang Dae Woon. It is a, a Korean. Uh, the ratio is um, we have we have uh, at least 70% on diet and 30% on exercise so it is it, it is um it is said that diet is more important than an exercise but according to other people they are promoting exercise as more important like the gyms but uh, even though we uh, have an exercise always uh, really take uh, exercise religiously, but we are not uh, uh, taking care of our diet and it will be useless. Okay, so next is why is dieting a big challenge to us? So food is also a source of pleasure. We have this, we have this since childhood inspired by parents, kindergarten, school, society. Some people take food as an enjoyment. Later, it grew through media, advertising, and it became one of the ways of communication, behavior, and communication in society. Take, for example, for any, um, any um, events, we always have foods, uh, weddings, birthdays. So foods is always there. So food is part of our lives. So we cannot, sometimes uh, it is so, so challenging for us if you want to, to have if you want to lose weight, food is easy to get nowadays. So we just order with uh, from Grab Express. Uh, usually, while we're watching uh, TV or movie, uh, I just I just post a like a little bit. Okay, okay, sorry for that. Okay, so nowadays food is so easy to get. While we are watching TV, we just uh, order it from our uh, Grab apps and then food is coming. So so we, we are addicted to food nowadays. Unlike, uh, unlike on the early days, we just take food for our survival. But for now, we take food as, 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 as a pleasure or enjoyment. Another another uh, challenge is uh, sometimes our attitude or values for foods. Sometimes we don't want any waste to be a uh, waste of food, so we we take all the food uh, uh, that is left behind. Okay, so are you are you, uh, can you can you relate to what uh, I am saying? Okay, so losing weight, of course, means losing fat. So what are the fats that we're going to target? Uh, the types of fats, what are, what the number one is the triglycerides. Uh, this is the fats that stores energy. The fat we need to target for elimination. It is made in liver, made, make up 90% of our body's 
path that goes to different parts of the body and is used as energy. Any leftover stays inside the fat cells and gets started. Fat cells get bigger and bigger and our bodies get bigger along with them. To metabolize, this means breaking down the triglycerides to release them through breathing or excretion. This not only makes your body slimmer, it also detoxifies it by emitting harmful substances. Okay. So it is said here that trigly triglycerides is the one we are targeting for losing weight. It is not the cholesterol. So triglycerides is also useful in our body because it is uh, the one that source energy, the one uh, if after we eat, we, uh, we, ne we need energy for us to move on our everyday life. So this is always important. But any excess of this, uh, any excess of these fats will be get stored in our fat cells. So if we do not uh, consume all the trigly triglycerides in our body, that will make us uh, bigger or fatter. So another types of fats are the building blocks of cells, which is the cholesterol and phospholipids. And what are triglycerides? Triglycerides are fats from the food we eat and that are carried in the blood. Most of the fats we eat are in triglyceride forms. Extra calories, alcohol, and sugar in the body turn into triglycerides and are stored in fat cells throughout the body. So how, how are triglycerides different from cholesterol? Triglycerides and cholesterols are both fatty substances called lipids. But triglycerides are fats, chole fats cholesterol is not. Cholesterol is a waxy, odorless substance made by the liver. It is used to build cell walls, helps the nervous system, and plays an important role in digestion and hormone production. So this is, uh, some people say that uh, when we are fat, uh, they told it, they told that the cholesterol is high. But uh, on the other hand, it says here that triglycerides is, is uh, in excess in our body, not the cholesterol. Okay, so what are the triglycerides level or the normal triglycerides level in our body? While triglycerides are an important energy supply for your body, having too many triglycerides in your blood can increase the risk of heart disease. Below are guidelines triglyceride levels for adults in milligrams per deciliter. Okay, so if you are loose, if you are watching for your um uh triglycerides so the normal so you should maintain your norm your triglyceride triglycerides level into 150 more than if you reach more than that that you you are now in the borderline high so you have to watch now your diet if you are now on this level and then it is considered as high if you have more than 4 200 to 499 and this is the dangerous one and then very high if you have 500 and above. So that's the already the, a dangerous level. And uh, there are ways to lower triglycerides and lose weight naturally backed by science. Number one is to aim for healthy for your weight. Whenever you eat more calories than your body needs, your body turns those calories into triglycerides and stores them in fat cells. Consume fewer excess calories can be an effective way to lower your blood triglycerides levels. In fact, research has shown that losing even 5 to 10% of your body weight can, can significantly reduce your triglycerides level. So what we can do is to practice mindful eating. So we, we do not just uh, eat what is available. So we, we, we have to mind uh, if it is healthy for, our, for us. Number two is to limit your sugar intake. Added sugar is a big part of many people's diet. So yeah, just drink and sweeten coffee instead. So I recommend Cafe Arabica. It's, uh, it's also tastes sweet, but it's not uh, uh, 
full of uh, sugar. It is it's sweetened by uh, fructose. And then drink unsweetened green tea. So we have the purity. Number three is to follow a lower carb diet. Much like added sugar, extra calories from carbs in your diets are converted into triglycerides and stored in fat cells. Not surprisingly, low carb diets have been linked to lower blood triglycerides levels. Okay, add egg yolks to your diets. L or add egg to your diets. And then eat more fiber. Dietary fiber is found naturally in fruits, vegetables, and whole grains. It also found in many other plant sources, including nuts, seeds, cereals, and legumes. Including more fiber in your diet can slow absorption of fat and sugar in your small intestines, helping decrease your triglycerides levels. So if you cannot eat all this uh, uh, food, um, yeah, you can better take probiotics supplements. Number five is to exercise regularly when paired with good weight loss. Studies show that aerobics exercise is especially effective at decreasing triglycerides. At least 30 minutes of aerobics exercise five days per week, which can include activities like walking, jogging, bicycling, and swimming. And avoid trans fats. Artificial trans fats are a type of fat added to processed foods to increase their shelf life. Trans fats are considered found in commercially fried foods and baked goods made with partially hydrogenated oils. They can also be found in a small amounts in some animal products. And number seven is to avoid processed foods. As you can see that uh, mostly of the adver advertised foods are uh, unhealthy, unhealthy foods like the snacks or the or the coke, coke, soft drinks. They are, uh, they are being uh, planted in our minds that these foods are good. But if not, if you are mindful, you will not take all, the, all of this. And number eight, eat fatty fish twice weekly or take omega-3 supplements. Fatty fish is well known for its benefits on heart, health, and ability to lower blood triglycerides. This is mostly due to its content of omega-3 fatty acids, a type of polyunsaturated unsaturated fatty acids that is considered essential, meaning you need to get it through your diet. And increase the, your re intake of unsaturated fats. Studies show that monounsaturated and polyunsaturated fats can reduce blood triglyceride levels, especially when uh, they are replacing carbs in your diets. Monounsaturated fats are found in foods like olive oils, nuts, and avocados. Polyunsaturated fats are present in vegetable oils and fatty fish, as well as nuts, seeds such as walnuts, flax seeds, and chia seeds. Okay. As you can see, that uh, nuts also is um, very good on our health. And number 10, establish a regular meal pattern. Insulin resistance is another factor that can contribute to high blood triglycerides. After you, uh, after you eat meal, the cells in your pancreas send signal to release insulin in the bloodstream. Insulin is then responsible for transporting sugar to your cells to be used for energy. If you have too much insulin in your, in your blood, your body can, can become resistant to it, making it difficult for your body to use insulin effectively. This can lead to buildup of, blood, of both sugar and triglycerides in the blood. So what you can do is to fast intermittently. Uh, inter fast intermittently is um, uh, scheduling your eating time in a certain period of time. Say, for example, you, you just uh, uh, eat within 12 hours in a day. And after that, you will, you will not take any foods after that. So that is fasting and per intermittently. And I have already um, also uh, 
experience on fasting intermittently and it also has uh, a positive effect on our on our uh, weight or it um, yeah but it also uh, effective okay number 11 is to limit alcohol intake alcohol beverages are often high in sugar carbs and calories if these calories remain unused they can be converted into triglycerides and stored in fat cells. Additionally, alcohol can increase the synthesis of blood, very low density lipoproteins, and the liver, which can carry triglycerides into your stream, into your system. Sorry. Okay, number 11 add protein to your diet. Soy is rich in isoflavins, which are a type of plant compound with numerous health benefits. Um, while, while widely known for its role in lowering LDL, cholesterol, so, uh, LDL is a bad cholesterol, soy protein has been shown to reduce blood triglyceride levels. Number 12, eat more tree nuts. <coughs> so <coughs> this nut, tree nuts provides a concentrated dose of fiber, omega-3, fatty acids, and unsaturated fats. All of it works together to lower blood triglycerides. Stock up on healthy foods and snacks. So we have in Atomy, Atomy Labor, and Raymond. These are healthy, considered food as healthy. <laughs> and then we have to drink more water and get enough sleep. Okay, so if uh, if uh, we do we do not follow those uh, guidelines on losing weight, so what will happen to us? So we will become ob obese. <coughs> Obesity is a condition resulting from excess fat storage in the body. Okay, so I'll just have to post a little bit. <coughs> Okay, sorry for that. Okay, so to resume, what is obesity? It is a condition resulting from excess fat storage in the body. One is considered obese when he, he weighs 20% more than his ideal body weight. And the causes of obesity is unhealthy eating habits, lack of physical activity, hormonal imbalance, psychological and emotional stress, and medications. And uh, the health risk of obesity are stroke, cardiovascular disease, high blood pressure, major organ failure, cancer, damage to joints, varicose veins, and atherosclerosis. So, the, uh, so it is very risky if you are obese. But I think atomians are not, uh, I don't see atomians who are obese because uh, we are taking um, food that is, uh, or healthy food. And then this is the chart uh, of, uh, or this is what we call the body, body mass index that we have to watch while, while we are losing weight. Um, if this is a height to weight ratio chart. If this, is for, this is, for example, the height for the female. This is your height, and you have the ideal weight that you have to maintain. So I, for myself, I'm five. If I'm, I am five, I have to maintain my weight on 120 pounds. If I, if my weight uh, reaches more, uh, reach this 137, it's already a borderline. And more than this, man, then I will be obese. And uh, for the male, this is one. This is also the target or the ideal weight that you can uh, watch on. Okay. Okay, so I will be introducing three Atomy products that may help in dieting. The uh, number one, Atomy Puberty, and then Atomy Alaska Omega-3, and Atomy Probiotics. And as you can see, um, 
omega-3 and probiotics were mentioned in recommending recommendations for healthy diet. And I will be discussing maybe, or if due to time constraints, I will be discussing only more on puberty. So if time permits, I will be continuing for the two products. And what is atomic puberty? What is atomic puberty? Uh, it is a variety of fermented tea traditionally produced in Yunnan province, China. In the context of traditional Chinese tea, production terminology, fermentation refers to microbial fermentation called weight piling and is typically applied after the tea leaves have been sufficiently dried and rolled. As the tea undergoes controlled microbial fermentation, it also continues to oxidize, which is also Okay, which is also controlled until the desired flavors are rich. Additionally, puberty is fermented, so it can also introduce healthy probiotics or beneficial gut bacteria into your body. These probiotics may help improve your blood sugar control, which play a key role in weight management and hunger. As you can see, probiotics also is included in our purity. And uh, one uh, one box of purity is has thirty sachet, so you you can use this for thirty days if you will be taking this uh, daily. Okay. So what are the benefits of purity? It contains antioxidants that can prevent damage caused by free radicals. If left unchecked, free radicals can lead to disease and illness. It has, it has anti-inflammatory properties that, that help ease redness, swelling, and other irritation. It may also suit pain caused by inflammatory conditions like arthritis. You can apply tea or drink a cup, of, cup or two to help help your body from the inside out. It may help prevent photoaging. Purity may help protect the skin from photoaging or signs of aging caused by sun damage. For many- Maya, excuse me. The slide is not moving. I don't know if it's just on me or to other people as well. It's not moving. Oh, okay. So I, where I am now. Okay, I'll just stop, stop and then I'll, I'll be back. Yes, ma'am. It was also stuck in what is obesity. Oh, okay. So I am now in the benefits of puberty. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so I'll, I'll return now the, the screen. I'll share again. Maybe the in internet problem. Okay, so are you now on the benefits of purity? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so anti uh, as I have mentioned, it is antioxidants, anti-inflammatory properties, and it, it may help in photo help prevent photo aging. Okay. Um, it helps protect the skin from photo aging or the signs of aging caused by the sun, damage. For many, drinking a few cups of purity has become part of a skincare routine that already includes exfoliants, moisturizer, and sunscreen. So that this Purity is also very good that it can also help our skin, skin for our skin care. So this can be uh, this can be also be uh, like an exfoliant moisturizer and sunscreen. Okay, it may help reduce body tox toxins. Purity can help break down and eliminate body toxins and bacteria. This includes toxins known to contribute to weight gain. You can drink puberty whenever you want to have a cleaning effect on your body. So there are also bacteria that causes, causes to us for a weight gain. So puberty is also very good in cleansing our body. It may aid in digestion and speed up meta metabolism. 
a cup of pure tea, maybe exactly what you need to enhance digestion and soothe stomach ailments. It can be shown to help balance the bacteria in your stomach and intestines and help the body digest heavy meals. It may help reduce stress and anxiety. Purity can help reduce stress by regulating and protecting the nervous system. The gamma aminobutyric acids, GABA for short, found in purity has also been shown to reduce anxiety levels. So set back and relax and sip away your stress. So very good that uh, purity is also good to our nervous system. So when we are um well when we are stressed, just drink a cup of purity. It may also help improve sleep quality. Those who have problems with sleeping, just uh, take one. Uh, although the tea contains caffeine, it may all actually help improve your sleep quality. Given its uh, effect on anxiety, it's thought that purity can help quiet the mind so you can drift away peacefully. Purity is also said to promote melatonin production, which can help regulate your sleep. So melatonin is a hormone that regulates our, your, our sleep. If you cannot sleep, purity, drink, just drink purity. Another is it lowers blood pressure that may help prevent heart disease. Its antioxidant and cholesterol lowering effects may also have a positive effect on cardiovascular health. This could help reduce your risk of heart disease and car other cardiovascular disorders. It may help manage blood sugar, reducing the risk of diabetes. Managing your blood sugar is especially important if you already have or want to prevent diabetes. Drinking puberty can help to lower blood sugar levels after meals, which is, which is when your glucose levels are likely to rise. So it is recommended that you drink puberty after after meals because uh, it is the, the time that, that your glucose levels will rise. And it may also help with the weight loss. So for uh, losing weight, uh, the recommendation for purity is to take before meals so that uh, it has an opposite one with diabetic one. And purity can be a great substitute for sugary drinks. And it may help promote bone health. Purity positive effects on oxidative stress and inflammation may also benefit your overall, overall bone health. Uh, this could help lower your risk of osteoporosis and fractures. It may be anti-cancerous. Some research suggests that the health benefits of purity extend to preventing cancer. Purity has been shown to inhibit the growth of more cells, but more research is needed before your doctor starts recommended tea as a first-line treatment. For now, talk with your doctor about whether this is something you can add to your treatment or prevention plan. So if you have, if you have cancer, for those people who have cancer, uh, it, it is important to um, be uh, con consulted this to a doctor before uh, taking this purity. And it may also prevent ovarian cancer, kidney stone, Parkinson's, and etc. And it also improves blood circulation and helps in our cognitive health. So I think that is the, the end. So it is so amazing. Purity has so many, so many uh, benefits to our uh, health. So yeah, yeah, you, you have to take purity to have an in inevitably successful diet. Okay, so the, the number two um number two products that I'm going to to introduce is omega three, which is also mentioned in uh, in uh, weight uh, lose weight is omega three. 
and still uh, since there's still uh, a time for us so I'll, I'll continue with the other two products uh, and as mentioned earlier omega-3 is also recommended for dieting and make your heart health a priority protect it with atomy alaska e omega-3 atomy alaska e omega-3 is a fish oil that uses alaska polar a polar fish in alaska as the primary species and produce in a high purity and a hygienic facility. This product has, has EPA and DSA, which helps improve neutral blood lipids and blood circulation. Vitamin E, which helps protect cells from free radicals. So EPA and DSA, this is the uh, uh, factor or something that, that, uh, that has to do with the, our brain or the or the brain improvement brain development of children that is why if you are have uh, if you are already suffering from forgetfulness then alaska omega 3 is good and what what is the functions of, of omega 3 uh, it helps with a variety of functions such as suppressing your appetite and dry glycerides. That is why this is recommended in losing weight. And relieving inflammation plays an antioxidant role and helps excrete waste matter. And the recommended daily dose of omega-3 is 500 to 2,000 milligrams. So if you take three, three capsules of our omega, so it's okay, it's just okay as recommended here also in biotomy that uh, you can take three when you have uh, health problems with like uh, if you uh, have, are suffering from heart disease or any other um, health, uh, risky health. Um, that are, yeah, this is not uh, three capsules is okay. Or I, I, have, I have also heard this from uh, our doctor, doctor in atomy, at the uh, who is this atomy? I I can I forget the name. Okay, so what are the benefits of atomy Alaska Omega? Uh, blood fat, triglycerides. Uh, if this oil supplement can lower elevate elevate triglycerides level lower elevated yung sub, uh, if we have more than triglycerides level it can help fish oil can can lower the our triglycerides having high levels of this blood fat puts your risk your risk at risk for heart disease dsa alone has also been shown to lower triglycerides next is re good for rheum rheumatoid arthritis fish oil supplements EPA DSA can curb stiffness and joint pain. Omega-3 supplements also seem to boost the effectiveness of anti-inflammatory drugs. And for also good for depression. Some researchers have found that cultures that eat foods with high levels of omega-3s have lower levels of depression. Fish oil also seem to boost the effect of antidepressant and may heal the, the depressive symptoms of bipolar disorder. And for baby developments, DSA appears to be important for visual and neurological development in infants. ADHD. So what is ADHD? Attention deficit hyperactivity disorder. These are the, the disorder from, from from small kids. And some studies show that fish oil can reduce the symptoms of ADHD in some children and improve their mental skills like thinking, remembering, and learning. Another is it's also good for asthma, a diet high in omega 3 lower inflammation, a key component in asthma. Next is Alzheimer's disease and dementia. Some research suggests that omega-3 may help protect against Alzheimer's disease and dementia. 
can have positive effect on gradual memory loss linked to aging. Okay, so that's all the uh, benefits of atomy probiotics. Number, the, the third product is atomy probiotics, 10 plus. And what is probiotics? It is a live bacteria living in a healthy person's intestines that provide positive health effects when proper amounts are taken. It has 12 types of mix. Lactobacilli made make your stomach happy, increases helpful lactobacilli, restrains growth of harmful bacteria, and help with bowel movement. Refreshing orange flavor, increased helpful lactobacilli, restraining harmful bacteria, and smooth bowel activity. These are functions of probiotics acknowledged by Korean, Korea Food and Development Authority. Okay, so the intestines of human humans contain both beneficial and harmful bacteria. And in healthy bodies, these two are well-balanced and beneficial bacteria dominate. And taking atomic probiotics help promote the growth of beneficial bacteria and to reduce harmful bacteria. So why is, why is taking probiotics an important one? Our health is closely linked to the state of our intestines. When one is living an unhealthy lifestyle with poor quality of foods and water, drinking and smoking, and insufficient intake of high fiber foods, uh, one is prone to have intestinal tract crisis. The digestive tract gets clogged with fats and toxins and infested with harmful bacteria. This leads to obesity and chronic diseases such as colon cancer, arteriosclerosis, hypertension, liver and kidney diseases, diabetes, and heart problems. So, so that is why um, our, our, guts, our gut system should be, it is also important because it's also um, uh, unhealthy gut system also contributes to uh, risky uh, diseases. And it is important to maintain our gut area for our overall good health and promote longevity. Health experts have proven that fiber helps a great deal in not only keeping the digestive tract clean and healthy, but also in losing weight by giving the feeling of fullness, absorbing fat, and facilitating metabolism. 